هلا مسيخو مسيخو هلا can't hear you. I've just made you host now, but I can't hear you. I've just unmuted. There we go. Okay. So now I've put you on. So do you want to just go and try and share your screen quickly and then we can see if it's working? Okay. Yay. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, that's great. So now just uh, click it and it works, eh? Hey? And then just, I just want to try something if I click on the, um, so just one sec. Okay, no problem. It's still time. Spotlight helps all of you. Okay, now that's perfect. It's not, it's not moving though. So is it moving on your side? I haven't actually. So to try if you do. Um, is it in a in a is it in a PowerPoint or is it just? Oh, there we go. Okay. So yeah. Just, so that's basically how I'll be going okay. through. It. And then, do you have um, any videos on here or not? No, there's not going to be videos. There's just so many changes. Our videos are basically outdated with all the changes. No, 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 no. It's fine. Yeah. I was just going to say that you needed to share your comp uh, your screen sound, but if you're not doing a video, then that's fine. Okay. Um, so what you can and do... And they see a little boxy of me there, like of my face in a little corner. Yeah, we can. But I normally just, I just normally put it on. So what... So I normally just put the video on in the beginning and then I, I take the video off. So like if you can see mine is, um, let me put mine on there. Yes. There, which <laughs> <laughs> and, and then I normally just turn it off when I'm, once I've spoken and introduced myself. And then turn I it just, off um, on stop video. Start, there's start video and stop video, but you can leave it on now for the beginning and then they can all yeah. see your beautiful face. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so sometimes, sometimes, yeah, so sometimes okay. what you can do is stop sharing now and then okay. you can talk and introduce yourself when I tell you when we're ready to yes. go. And then and you then can put it on sharing. and start share again. So we've still got another five minutes or so. So I'm just going to leave you for five minutes or okay. a few minutes and then I'll come back to you when, I'm, when we're ready to rock and roll. No, that's perfectly fine. So just a little quick update. How many people are we presenting to? We're not sure. We'll see as I join. There's okay. already seven people on. So I okay. will let you, yeah, as it goes along, let's hope at least 20 odd that we'll okay. have um, or more. Um, so yes, I'll let you know once. So they're all still joining. That's a lot of them just come in at actually at 11. So Okay, there's no problem at all. Thank you so much, Angela. Okay.
Are you in the office today, Ms. Hecho? I actually am. I usually am. Okay. Uh, okay, brilliant. Yeah, now for like, they said three working days in the office, but it's just better for me to come in. <laughs> Okay, okay. No, that's just, my good. throat was scratchy yesterday and one of the COVID questions on the like, <laughs> thing is, is your throat sore? So I was like, you know what, <laughs> let me not risk anyone's lives. So I just stayed <laughs> from yesterday. And are there quite a lot of um, people working in the office as well? Are they also working alternate days? It's alternate days, but I actually don't have the understanding in terms of capacity who's still with us and who's not, because okay. you don't, you can't really tell. Mm, yes. But the office is absolutely empty. I mean, I but yeah, people still working from home. But some departments prefer every day now. Some departments are like three days. Some departments are like two days. But okay. I mean, if I'm okay. running between finance, I'm running between the contact center, I'm running between revenue management. So it's just better when I come in. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. We've got the same. We've got a few working from home still, and we've got a few in the office every day. So it is nice. It's yeah. a nice back. Yeah. No, we're near where we... <laughs> yeah, sorry. There's no such thing as being late anymore. <laughs> No, or sitting in your pajamas. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you just have to attend to what you have to attend to on time, but you know, you're not rushing to the office at eight, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, a little bit no, of absolutely. But it's been crazy. Well, that's good. Oh, it's and been a lot. Now, you guys working all the way through, or will you um, will you close a bit? Well, there's no closing in our business, you know, Angela, no. but I'm definitely <laughs> taking the corporate leave. Okay. So I'm going, um, yeah, my last day is actually on Monday and then I'll be back on like the 8th or 9th or something. No. I, I miss, yeah. Yeah, no, it's been a long lockdown, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely not to anybody's value if I'm, if I'm still around right now. I mean. Okay, good. No, that's fine. Um, I see there is still a few people joining, but um, we've got up to 20 people. So let me just see this. Uh, let me just see if we've got some more joining at the moment. Yeah. Let's just wait one more minute. Um, okay. And then, Ms. Seche, if you can just introduce yourself um, and then what you can do to construct okay. the presentation. So let's just wait literally not even a minute. And then you can, then you can, I'm happy for you to start. Well, mind you, start introducing yourself. It's, you're good to go. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Thank you. All right, I'll just go ahead and start. Hi, everybody. My name is Masejo and I'm from Sun International. And we are basically in the leisure division. So I look after hospitality, um, travel trade partners, as well as the direct um, market in terms of marketing and sales. And thank you guys for having me today. A lot of you guys will know that our properties, um, the first thing that comes to mind when you mention Sun International is Sun City, um, Table Bay in Cape Town, we have Sibaya, we have Wild Coast Sun, we have the Boardwalk, we have Maropa, we have the Maslow Times Square and the Maslow in Sandton, and those are our flagship leisure properties. Um, we are very much known as a gaming property as well, as most of our properties actually have casinos. Um, but today we're just going to focus on the leisure side of um, our hotels, and then I can explain. I mean, my presentation is actually not updated because there's so many changes that are still happening. However, a lot of what um, I'll tell you guys is basically um, what you need to know for now and going forward until any major changes are made. So I'll, I'll get straight into my presentation. Okay, so we have, 
about 16 properties in Africa. And like I said, some of them are leisure properties, some of them are not. And I'll just basically focus on what the leisure markets, the travel trade um, focuses on. Um, I'm going to start with the boardwalk. The boardwalk is in PE. Um, this is basically smack bam in the promenade. It's, it's, I always say it's like one of the biggest features in PE, you cannot miss this hotel if you are right in the center of PE. And basically we have an indoor pool at the boardwalk and a lounge. So very much five-star Victorian, I would say four to five-star. We're not graded by the tourism board, um, the grading council. However, we do represent ourselves as a five-star hotel. And basically that's our presidential suites at the boardwalk. I always say the unique silent preposition for, for the boardwalk is all rooms are sea facing. So whether it's an entry level room or a higher category room, all the rooms are sea facing. And that's a luxury king room. So that's basically a room you'll find yourself booking. Um, this one is a luxury king. So not all of them have a balcony, but they definitely do have a sliding door which opens up into the outside. And that's a luxury twin room. So again, this would be the entry level room which you'd find yourself booking um, at the boardwalk. Um, it shows Africology, however, it's no longer. We have Camelot Spa at the boardwalk, very, very popular spa um, in PE itself, um, but it's also quite popular amongst our guests. And I'm gonna go straight into the Wild Coast Sun. So basically the Wild Coast Sun is another resort of ours, um, which basically is in the wild coast Eastern Cape, um, right on the edge of the Eastern Cape and KZN, two hours drive away from Durban. Um, for your own interest, I do know that there are shuttles. So there's a company called Margate Shuttles, which I also use when I, when I travel there. However, if somebody wants to book car hire, that's all good. But if you do want to book transfers, which are really cheap, I think they said about 500 return or something like that. Um, it's called Margate, uh, Margate Trans Shuttles, um, which are also based at the airport, also collect at the Durban, at the Durban, what do you call this? Uh, Durban station as well. So there's a few pickup points for your clients as well in Durban. However, it is not in Durban, it is in Port Edward. Um, this is the Chico restaurant at the Wild Coast Sun. So a very scenic um, restaurant, it's very beautiful, it's very large. Um, so basically this is where your guests would have breakfast. Breakfast is always included in our rates. And there's a driftwood bar, um, which is also quite a nice feature at the hotel, quite popular, very musical. I mean, somewhere, I mean, you can't see it, but there's like the swimming pool that actually stretches in the bar, which is quite cool. And basically that's the outside of um, the Wild Coast Sun, the swimming pool area. So you do have sea facing, which is the same cost as garden facing. So always try, I mean, always try to get the sea facing, sea facing view, which is obviously quite nicer. And what's nice, it's actually the same rate as, as the garden facing, which is um, quite nice for your guests. So that's the garden facing luxury family room. Um, very spacious, two adults, two children under the age of 18. I mean, those are king beds. These are really big rooms. All your guests would definitely be happy with the room of this size. And that's the presidential suite bathroom at the Wild Coast Sun. Um, the reason why you would find a lot of people actually return to the Wild Coast Sun is definitely because of this feature, which is the Wild Waves Water Park. Before the pandemic uh, lockdown, what we the, it used to be chargeable to all guests at about 50 Rand a day. So what we've done now is we've included that rate into the room. Um, so now we um, sell it as, you know, same as we do at Sun City as free value of the waves. Now all guests get free wild waves, which is a smash because it was always such an inconvenience for guests to be paying for something that they sometimes didn't even know they had to pay for. So this is quite neat for us, um, especially now that we are seeing repeat guests are, are much more happier knowing that they can go in and out of the water park any day and, and not be charged additional costs. I'm not gonna go through the windmill, but it is in Bloemfontein. It's one of our casinos. 
Carnival City, as you might know, this is um, another one of our property. It is in Johannesburg in the East Rand. Also not a leisure property. However, we do sell rooms. And if you do find your clients are looking for a room, you are um, able to inquire. Okay, that's just Carnival. Carousel, like I said, we just recently sold this property as well. And then I found out yesterday actually that we didn't sell it. We actually hired a management something to run it for us, but another gaming property, um, not for us to worry about. And then the Maslow Santon is our five-star hotel that's in Santon, just here in Grayston. Um, very much positioned as a business hotel. However, I definitely would encourage leisure, especially now. Um, we've been in meetings where we are seeing more leisure guests, of course, than we did business guests, obviously with what's been happening. So what we've done now is we've definitely positioned it, especially on weekends, to feel more leisurely and to have a few more activities, just a few more activations on site. Uh, which promotes um, leisure holiday. And it's definitely um, one of the top five hotels in Sense. And just from a rate perspective and also from quality and our COVID protocols, I mean, we've definitely seen a spike in, in um, leisure bookings. And it just means that people are still keen to visit um, Johannesburg, even if it's a stop to somewhere, but we're still getting that two night, one night minimum stay um, for leisure guests. And it's also such a great um, point for others to, for guests to explore Joburg. And we have the um, red bus, the red bus that stops on Saturdays and Sundays, and you just have to inquire on the day. So it's also a pickup point for the red bus in Johannesburg. We have free shuttles every 30 minutes from the Gau train, um, which is quite nice because guests that are using the Gau train, whether they're coming from the airport or surrounding cities, they are also able to just um, connect by the Gau train and get onto the shuttle. And the shuttle is also free within a 30, um, let me get this right, within a five kilometer radius of, of sand. And so if a guest um, needs to go somewhere down the road, they can get onto the shuttle. So just that local um, experience is what the Maslow is, is best for, especially for nightlife and, and restaurants and those type of lifestyle guests. Um, because it's a business hotel, there's um, obviously meeting rooms of various sizes, um, which you can book for your corporate guests. And we have the Lacuna Bar, which is quite nice. I mean, on a regular day like today, you'll find the space is highly occupied by business guests having meetings and just sharing drinks. And it's really such a great environment um, for business guests because we do offer free Wi-Fi even for those day visitors. Um, that's basically how it looks like. And the Lacuna um, Urban Bistro, this is definitely a, a five-star restaurant, in my opinion. Um, you know, we definitely serve, I mean, we compete with a lot of five-star restaurants in our notes. So there's definitely, I mean, we revamped the menu. Um, the service levels have improved significantly. Um, so, but the price point comes with it as well. But we usually find that um, guests are happy to enjoy the space, um, day visitors as well. But this is also where um, your guests would enjoy breakfast and with all our properties that you guys um, purchased through Thompson's holidays, all our, um, all our rates come with breakfast. So that would be the, the larger view of the restaurant. The Wayfarer Lounge at both the Maslow Center and the Maslow Times Square is, is quite a unique feature to us because this space can be used by guests that are arriving earlier than check-in. So what's nice is we've, we've you know, plated out meal, not plated out, but we've set up like a buffet style um, meals that they can snack on and, and drinks and coffee that the guests can enjoy for free before they actually check-in 
or even after they check out for those guests that are connecting to late flights or that have just arrived um, too soon. There's also free access internet. There's two showers in there as well. And, you know, this is obviously going with the concept of a business traveler and how um, it works for them because people can connect to meetings and do what they need to do um, without feeling like they're waiting to be checked in. That's the executive suite at the Maslow Santon. Um, that's a luxury queen room at the Maslow Santon. So this would basically be your entry level room. So you can either get a luxury queen or a luxury twin room. That's a luxury suite at the Maslow Santon. We have a spa. Oh. It's not Africa. It is Africology. We have Africology at the Maslow Sanson, which is very extremely popular with day visitors as well as guests. So, I mean, it's a fully kitted out spa, five star luxury, really nice for our guests. And we also have a gym as you would in a five star hotel, which is also kitted out with some of the best, you know, equipment. I mean, it's not the largest gym, but it definitely is good enough for those um, active travelers. And then the sister, well, the, the twin, um, which is the Maslow Times Square. This is based in Pretoria at Mainland, Maine. So a very, very popular location uh, in, um, in, at the Maslow, I mean, in Pretoria. So what it's popularly known for is the Sun Arena, which used to host, I mean, hundreds and hundreds of concerts. And it, I mean, there's a whole bunch of restaurants, it's nightclubs, and we also have a casino. And what's unique about this property is it's not necessarily graded even by us as a five star or four star or whatever. It's because it, it's, a, it's a high rise building that's being separated into three types of categories which is your 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 median okay medians in the middle so your zenith medium and then foundation rooms so if you think about it the bottom rooms are three star the middle are four star and the the high is five star in pricing however the quality and the standard of hotel of, of the hotel operates as a five star hotel throughout so even uh, it's just so that the foundation rooms can compete with the three star price range of the three star hotels with the mode. and then we are just able to be competitive um, without necessarily um grading ourselves as a five star even though it feels and looks and the service level is of a five star we um that's the lobby area so as you walk into the hotel you are greeted by this stunning lobby and of course because it's a maslow hotel it also has business rooms um, meeting rooms and conferencing rooms and that's basically how it would look like. So here in the center, we are able to set up coffees and teas, and it's quite nice what they can do with the space for, for conference, so for your mice. Um, so that's just another angle. And yes, that's the diamond conferencing room, which is a stunning room, which is also used for weddings and big style events. And I mean, like all our hotels, we have definitely have adhered to the COVID regulations and capacities. So when you inquire, you are able to find out what the layouts look like and what we can and cannot do. Okay. And of course, there's also a gym at the Maslow Times Square, which is quite nice. And we have a patisserie as well, which is quite nice for people just coming in for simple meetings and just teas and coffees. So you can also just grab a little dessert. And so that's the buffet area. So this is where the guests would enjoy um, their dinner. Um, should they not want to go outside and have dinner, we definitely have a buffet style dinner, which is very large and choice for food, um, which I also find works 
um, for all types of di dietary requirements. And if there are special requirements that needs to be made, um, you would obviously have to just inquire with the hotel directly. So that's the buffet style I was talking about. There's a solace bar, so it's a very chic hotel, you know, New York style with the views and the pool and the bars. Very, um, it's very just, uh, there's, a, I think there's about four bars in the whole hotel. And that's the pool deck, that's also a very popular area um, in the hotel because this is where you can also just enjoy a drink and also hang out um, at the swimming pool. Sorry, what did I just do? So basically this table and chair where you see the champagne is sitting in the water and you're enjoying the views. It's really nice. Yeah, so it looks something like that. The Wayfarer Lounge, like I explained before with the Maslow Center, it's um, the same concept here as well. Ooh, went too fast. Okay, that's another look at the Wayfarer Lounge. That's the painter suite at the Maslow Times Square. And that's the median king room. So medium, medium, I always think four star middle category. And that's the Zenith room. This is the higher category rooms. And that's the foundation. So this would be your entry level room. I mean, if you see, there's not much quite of a difference in decor, however, there is in the rate as well. Um, but to me, the foundation room, which is the entry level room is just as good as the other rooms. It's obviously just the size and the foundation room unfortunately only have a shower and not a bath. Okay, Sibaya. Sibaya, this is our Durban property. It's our only hotel in Durban. Um, like I mentioned, the Wild Coast Sun is in Ports Edward and this one is in Durban. So this is um, quite close to the airport. Um, also very much known as a gaming property. Again, we also have a restaurant, which is buffet style at Sabaya. And we have the Royal Court. So Sabaya, travel agents are only able to book the Sabaya Lodge and we aren't able to book the Royal Sabaya because that's exclusively for our gaming guests. However, you still are able to enjoy the amenities like the Royal Court Grill, which is based at the Royal Sabaya Hotel. I mean, it's within the same property. It's quite a large property. Um, but I mean, if, if you don't wanna eat at the buffet restaurant, you can definitely come enjoy yourself at the Royal Grill. Um, that's the Virginia Bar. That's the swimming pool at the Royal Sabaya. We have conferencing facilities. This um, used to be the aqua bar. It's now the butcher block. I think the butcher block restaurant. Um, we've kept the middle aqua type of look. However, it's definitely a, I mean, if you know the butcher block, it's a steak restaurant. Um, it looks very four or five star dining to me. There's live performances. It's a very popular spot um, for, for guests that want to enjoy just, you know, proper dining. This is quite nice um, as well, but it doesn't, it looks, doesn't look like that at all anymore. So this is the st standard family room at the Sabaya Lodge. So this is the rooms that you can book. So that would be a, it's a queen bed and the sofa there at the corner is a sleeper couch that can be set up, um, which is quite nice. Um, they have had a soft refurb in these rooms so they look much more newer and they just feel better. They've removed the carpet there so it's tile, um, which is quite nice for our guests. Um, but yeah, this is basically what a family room looks like. That's a standard suite at the Royal um, Sabaya, so you can't book that room. And there is a spa, so the Mangonani um, 
head office spa is at the at the Sabaya. Extremely popular. I mean, I couldn't get reservations for two days. So if it is something that um, your guests would like to enjoy, or you know that your guests enjoy this type of thing, um, rather inquire at the time of you know confirming your booking so that you can at least secure. Um, a spot um, because it is very much enjoyed by day visitors as well. And it's such a stunning spot, one of, in my opinion, the best in Durban. Um, and I'm going straight into Miropa. Miropa is our hotel in Polokwane, our only hotel in Polokwane, also very much known as a casino hotel. But I mean, it's got such stunning rooms that you guys can book. Um, so that's the swimming pool at Maripa. So very much still a leisure hotel. You'd find your guests, I mean, that do want to go to Bulaguani would usually prefer this type of hotel if they're not staying at lodges or anything like that. Um, conferencing facilities present as well. So that would be the lobby area. I mean, they've chosen this Moroccan theme style hotel. <laughs> I have no idea why, but yeah. So there's this Moroccan style touch and feel throughout the entire hotel. And that's basically what it looks like when you enter. And that's the bedroom suite at Miropa. So this is definitely a higher category room at the hotel. And that would be your entry level standard room at Miropa. So very much Moroccan. You, I, I find that people either love it or they hate it. <laughs> But I actually like it very much um, because it's just, it's unique, it's, it's different. And you just really feel like they took so much effort in the detail. And it's such a pretty, pretty little room to be in. Um, and you can also um, request, uh, well, this is actually a standard twin. So if your guests are looking for separate beds, I'm not quite sure that they can do that. Um, that's a bathroom at Maripa. And we have a spa as well. Um, we, I think they just contracted a local spa um, to be based at the hotel. I mean, it's a very stunning spa. They, they've used this concept similar to, similar to um, what Mangonani does with the little huts or the chalets for the spa rooms. So that's quite nice. So you are able to treat your guests to that or guests are able to, to book themselves in. And then the Federal Palace, we do have a, a, a hotel in Nigeria. This is probably the hotel you'll find that you'll book in Nigeria. Um, it's, it's a five-star hotel, um, Nigerian standard. I would definitely rate it as a four-star, our South African standard. And that's the lobby area at the Federal Palace, very safe. Um, what's interesting that I found out not so long ago is that you can actually hire armed security um, with the hotel should you need that airport to hotel um, security. Um, there's also transfers that can be arranged with the hotel. So your guests can definitely feel secure from the time they leave the airport until they, they depart the, the country. So that's the Explorer restaurant at the Federal Palace. And there's a bar area. That's a junior suite at the Federal Palace. This is probably the worst picture that's ever been taken. I don't understand why they're showing us a picture of a chair when you can just see the whole <laughs> room. But yeah, that's a junior suite. And that's the junior suite as well. So that's it's quite very large rooms. I've never been, um, but it's definitely a high quality hotel. Flamingo, this is in Kimberley. So again, another gaming property we do not have to worry about. So I'm just going to rush through that. And then I'm going to go straight into Sun City, which is definitely the number one property that um, for, for our leisure guests. This is based in the Northwest province, Rustenburg, two hours drive away from Johannesburg and Pretoria. And this is the auditorium. We've got all sizes of meeting rooms. They've had such a major revamp. This is old. And we've got the Sun Park. Um, Sun Park, this is like a mobile um, 
venue which can stage all sizes of events. Um, it's used by the MICE people, so it's definitely a unique feature that we have as well there. A very old image of Valley of Waves, um, but this is the draw card to the property itself, um, just because of you know how fun it is and basically just the beach area which kids love, families love, you know, you can really just catch some sun. I mean, there've been so many inclusions in terms of um, restaurants, where to eat, and Manqua Game Trackers have, have added so many activities. There's zip, zip lines and all sorts of monkey slides. And we've, we've just introduced so many rides that make it um, refreshing, especially for those guests that have gone year on year. And, um, but it's definitely where you want to be when you're here. Oh, yeah. So these are some of the slides we've introduced at Valley of Waves. Um, there's a chimpanzee at Sun City, which you can book there, um, but it, you can prearrange these type of activities with Manco Game Trackers. And that's the slip, zip slide at Sun City. So, you know, we find that a lot of guests don't necessarily know what is there to do at Sun City. Um, so what we've done is on our website, we've refreshed um, all the, luckily we've been lucky that all our activities have remained the same. So we finding that everybody is back and we don't own the activities. Um, they are concessionaires. So it's quite nice to know that everybody's has reopened again and they are experiencing high volumes of, of bookings, which is quite nice to see. And um, we have adrenaline extremes, which are the go karts, and the popular game drive that I would highly recommend you book through Monk with Game Trackers, just because of the relationship that they do have with the front office um, at the hotel. So it's just easier to book it with them, and then they are able to look after your guests um, when from the time that they on board, and they also have quite high COVID protocols in place, which um, are quite nice for the guests to feel secure. And there is Balloon Adventure at Sun City. Um, this is also through Monkey Game Trackers, so you are able to book, um, what do you call this, hot air balloon. And I hear that it's currently running a special, um, which is quite nice to find out about um, because it is quite popular for those guests that have never been or could never really have afforded the rates at the time. So this is quite um, neat as well. Um, Sun Central, um, for those who haven't been to Sun City in a very long time, the space used to be called the Entertainment Center. Um, we've since revamped it and introduced more restaurants and, and activities. Um, this is uh, quite a very popular space for those guests that don't want to necessarily eat dinner at the restaurant, um, at the hotel. Um, so quite the popular restaurants, familiar restaurants. I mean, there's a Nando's, there's a Spur, um, you know, there's a Casabella. There's um, what I also need to tell you guys is we also have a cinema here, which is quite neat. We have a Sobe. There is a magic company as well, which is quite nice. So it really is an entertainment center, um, which has now been called Sun Central. So Cabanas, this is our, it's not our entry level room, but this is our uh, entry level hotel. We do have bush bungalows, which cannot be, um, which you have to call us directly to book. Um, but it is, What's available on the API is the cabanas can be booked um, with us straight. Uh, this is our three star, four star, in my opinion, hotel. Um, very popular for families, especially if there's kids. I would definitely recommend this for children and guests that are laid back and just really want to enjoy a slow laid back time, not just because, uh, really because of how the rooms are and also just the type of entertainment that Cabanas provides like at the pool deck, I mean, at the at the pool area. And it's, it's really just enjoyable and it's not as formal as the palace would be. So that's the Palm Terrace, very popular during the day. There's music playing all around. You can just really chill, hang out, grab a snack. 
And that's the luxury family room at the Cabanas. It's quite, I mean, for me, it's large enough, um, you know, for families, especially if they're under the ages of like 12. Um, the minute you start booking teens with parents, because we do allow until the ages of 18 for two kids, because the sofa at the back um, rolls out into a sofa bed as well. We do find that people find that they should have rather booked two rooms um, and just requested for them to be next to each other. However, for those guests that are adamant that they are okay to have their teens and, and mom and dad to also be in the room, that's we allow that as well. So that's the luxury room. So this is your entry level room um, at the cabanas. Um, which is also quite nice in my opinion. We don't have the carpet styles anymore. The private um, bathroom area, which back 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 then wasn't, um, but it's really just such a vibrant, airy, clean room. There's not really much to complain about. It's got all the standard um, amenities that you would require in the room and, and it's quite refreshing in my opinion. So that's the lake facing twin room. So some might find that you've been quoted on a twin, a standard twin room and a lake facing slightly higher in price, slightly um, just because of just that downstairs lake feature. I mean, this is quite nice for those guests that do enjoy their room and just really want to sit outside and, and enjoy the air and don't necessarily want to be up and down um, who are there to relax um, it's quite nice just because of that air that comes in and it's really such a, a cool room and these are the lawns at the cabana so from time to time especially during these type of seasons we activate so many things for kids especially you'd find that Lunch is served on the lawns, there's special this characters coming in, there's musical performances or, you know, whatever the resort decides to do, picnics and, and, and those type of things um, we activate, especially um, during festive seasons like now, just so we can create variety for our guests um, during this time. The Cascades, we have recently just opened the Cascades no formal communication has gone out that I have also, I haven't been able to share because it's still in its teething stage. They did so much revamping and refixing. Um, to be honest, we have had two or three complaints last week when it opened about lifts being stuck and, you know, we just trying to get through those issues. Um, however, there is information to open you are able to book it and your guests are absolutely able to stay at the cascades from now and going forward but it's very exciting to us because um it had a lot of issues and a lot of people i'm sure you guys as well have heard guests say that the cascades is not what it used to be and just because it needed it just needed um, a facelift it needed some fixing it needed yeah it, it needed quite a little bit of um fixing um, and that's why we took the time between the lockdown and now to make those major changes because we are aware it is quite the favorite um, we still find guests that don't want to stay at the palace and would rather stay at the cascade so um yeah so that's exciting from our side um also because of the restaurant that is also not able to open which was definitely a draw card to the Cascades. So Luma Bar and Lounge, um, you know, just a nice little area where guests can just enjoy drinks and little snacks and really be social. Um, Bocado, I'm not sure it's going to be called Bocado anymore. However, I did see the signage still say Bocado, but I know it's going under new management, so which is quite exciting. But to me, this was personally one of my favorite restaurants. Um, however, they it's gone under new management, so this is definitely one of the draw cards to to the Cascades Hotel. And the Forest of Lights, I mean, this is such a such a cool little you know, walkway, you know, that heads to the swimming pool and the Bocado restaurant, but it lights up. It's such a romantic space at night. I mean, when you walk, it's got these sensory, beautiful lights and we've had plentiful proposals go down here and it's really such a cool place to enjoy your walk um, during the day and at night. 
that's the garden suite at the Cascade. So you have to be careful when booking these rooms because as you can see, the bathroom is right there. <laughs> um, perfect for couples who don't mind sharing um, that exposure. Um, very much good for honeymooners and those romantic baby moons type of guests. Um, but it's definitely a room we need to be careful with. Um, that's your luxury twin room. Again, a picture of a chair and not necessarily the bed, but this is your entry level room. Um, so I hear the paint's different. I've, I haven't seen it just yet. I hear they've definitely done some decorative changes to the room, which are quite pleasing as well, um, but that's how it used to look. And that's the Flamingo Suite main box. Cascades. And Soho, Soho, which used to be called the main hotel. Um, this is right on the foot of the Gary Player um, golf course as well. So is the so is the Cascade. So if you have guests that are going to Sun City for golf, I will definitely book them into the Cascades or Soho so that it's just easy to maneuver around with their golf sets and they can go up and down and whatever they need to go back to the rooms, it's just easier. And very much an entertainment hotel. So I would stay away from this hotel if I'm, you know, with kids, um, not stay away, but I mean, you definitely have to let your guests know that it is vibrant. I mean, this is where the night club is, not necessarily that you can hear the noise, but you can feel the vibe. And this is the casino hotel. So there's certain rooms you can probably hear the casino machines go off or that, that loud noise of people winning or whatever. So it's definitely a hotel which is noisy. So it's not for your guests that are going there to relax. However, they also have an amazing swimming pool which allows for that leisurely, I mean, it's one of the best pools at Sun City. So a pool that's very popular with the kids and families, however, the, the actual hotel room stay could be quite noisy, especially in the passages at night as well. So we have a nightclub at Soho, it's called Encore, very popular. Um, oh, that's the swimming pool I was talking about. So, you know, it, it really does cater to families. However, it's just the accommodation that I'm worried about for guests that didn't expect. I mean, I heard someone say, my, my ch if I knew, then I wouldn't have book chat because now my children want to run into the casino because they're fascinated with all these games. So it's a, it's a balance there that you need to make sure you look out for. Sun Terrace, this is uh, really one of the nicer breakfast areas, um, in my opinion, just because it's it's um, it's outdoor, it's bigger, it's such a great space to enjoy breakfast. I mean, when I went um, to just go check out the COVID, uh, COVID protocols, I was really just impressed with the high standard of our, of our COVID measures. I mean, a lot of what we serve is packaged, this screens in front of our guests between the servers and the chefs and guests are really they felt so protected I mean we spend so much money in packaging utensils and and and, and all sorts of things um, and it's not necessarily aesthetically pleasing sometimes but you definitely feel a sense of safety um, which is quite impressive and we definitely haven't had complaints about breakfast well that I've heard of and we've kept the options the same so we haven't removed any breakfast items from um, from from the buffet we've just we're just serving it differently and yeah that's the entrance to the hotel that's the casino that's the luxury room at Soho so yeah this is your entry level room and that's the presidential suite. The palace. So the palace is a five-star um, property at at um, at Sun City. Very popular. It's still for many a bucket list hotel. Um, but we have been experiencing, and I've been getting a few queries about 
this and that. And, and the major thing people are asking about is it's so outdated, it's so outdated. And unfortunately, the palace is just, it's a concept hotel. It's, it's not going to change. I mean, what they do is they replace, what they do is they refurb, but it's not going to change in style. It's not going to change in concept. So it is what it is. It's one of those hotels, but one of the things that are problematic, used to be problematic where the lifts and now the lifts have, have been fixed and the breakfast area, people used to complain of the lines, but it is what it is because of just the COVID measures we are taking in place that we have to definitely ensure that you know people are spread out um, perfectly and we just have to manage that accordingly and um, it's one of those properties that also have just um, done so well with their COVID measures and their COVID protocols and I'm just really so proud of how they're handling you know the capacity because it does really fill up on weekends and and just guests really seem to have a ball and what I'm finding now is that guests are definitely enjoying the pool area more just because they've diversified the offering um at the pool deck so which is quite nice so the pool area is very much popular for families and kids and you'd find that some people actually prefer to be there than at the actual valley of waves so that's the reception at the palace and something that i also maybe should let you guys know is i've had a few requests of people wondering oh i've got guests who are staying at soho and they're wondering if they can use um the pool area at the palace usually on weekends they probably won't be allowed to but everything's on request so if you can just make the request directly with the hotel i did here it's going to be chargeable at a very low fee um however this is definitely a popular area even for guests that are not on site however it's exclusive to palace guests only and that show at the palace and there's conferencing facilities as well. The King's Tower is also quite a unique feature. You'd find a lot of proposals or a lot of romantic dinners can be served here. The wind chime is also great for events, baby showers, and it's really used for different types of things. And the baobab, great for your picnics. It's really just great for families who just want to chill out in, on the lawns and, and, and have a good time there. And that's the crystal court. So that is where breakfast is served and buffet dinner is served. The tusk bar at the palace. The grill room, extremely popular. Um, you, I find so many guests are disappointed that throughout their stay, they still weren't able to get a reservation. Um, it is because anyone on prop on, in Sun City can reserve um, dinner here. You, it's very small. Um, you definitely would, if, if you know your guests are the type of people that would enjoy this type of seating, five-star dining to the T, um, you would definitely have to just make a reservation, whether they cancel it or not, um, rather just um, put it in place so they aren't disappointed. That's the swimming pool area. The Royal Baths. The Royal Baths is a adult only um, area. So it's a large swimming pool area and there is um, a bar as well at the pools. Um, it's really just for the adults who are trying to avoid kids, um, can be used. It's free for palace guests, but it's chargeable to everybody else on property. Um, it's really just, I mean, also they call it a naked pool area uh, when we had international still and the Europeans very much um, were about it um, just because of the fact that you can walk around naked and whatever and, and that type of thing. African suite. So this is the African suite at the palace. And that's the bathroom. And that's the jacuzzi, very expensive room. <laughs> um, but I mean, it's 
it's one of those rooms that we find, especially after the pandemic, people have requested for their honeymoons, um, those that couldn't travel um, abroad. So this is quite a, a lovely room. It comes with free butler service. So it's a very stunning room to be enjoyed and you can have your guests come in and enjoy your space as well. Um, this is the Superior Luxury King Room. This is the Luxury Twin Bathroom. Again, Balloon Adventures. Golden Valley, I'm just going to go through. This is in Cape Town, Breda River Valley. Also, it is a hotel, however, it's very much not popular for our leisure guests. Also very much casino. Grand West as well, not a leisure um, property, but it's extremely popular in that area because of the casino and just such an entertainment make a little hub. Um, but we do have rooms for our gaming guests and it's quite, quite you know, quite popular for, for day visitors because of all the events that happen as well and the ice rink there as well and the arena. Ugh. Yeah. And the Table Bay. So the Table Bay Hotel is our five-star property in Cape Town. Um, this is definitely a hotel I recommend for your guests. Um, who want to be in the heart of Cape Town. We call it the best address in Cape Town just because it's right on the foot. It's actually got um, joint, the hotel and the VNA have access to each other, which is quite nice and it's accessible 24 hours. Um, so it's really a five star property. I mean, what they've done with that menu for breakfast, with what they've done with that menu for dinner. I mean, they've had such unique changes to make it affordable, first and foremost to domestic, um, to the local guests, um, but also just, just to reposition themselves because they were very much an international, you know, hotel, although we do see a lot of local guests coming in, um, but we definitely, had to wake up and say we need to start catering more to the locals um, in terms of rates and in terms of of menu options so that's the lobby area at the table bay very much victorian victorian luxury um, not as modern as your other hotels within the node so definitely a hotel that that says old money <laughs> Um, in my opinion, but you know, even the service level, the concierge service, the, the porterage, it's just really such a five star property in every sense of the word. Um, the pool deck, um, so we do have a, a, a pool, I mean, it's not the most luxurious pool, but it is quite popular for guests that just really just want to dip. We've got a bar. Um, next to the pool and the jacuzzi. So very much enjoyed by guests who want to dip. Um, and it's quite popular for, for, you know, families that really just want to hang out and don't want to do, you know, the surroundings or sightseeing anymore. And we have conferencing facilities as well. High tea, extremely popular. Um, for guests, definitely. I mean, I have they have one of the best high tea options, or so you know, just high teas in Cape Town. Just really because of all the, well, the high level of service first of all, but also just the options in the desserts and the treats and the, and even just the tea menu is insane. I mean, I sat there and I think I tasted about twenty five types of teas. <laughs> until I was just like all teed out, but it's definitely a very popular, um, it's a popular product and it's also something that you need to pre-book. I would definitely recommend you to pre-book it because we don't have a large area. It's, um, it's very intimate, um, but it's also quite, um, 
you, it's satisfactory. You know, by the time you're done with it, you'd feel like I actually can't have one more dessert. Um, so it's quite nice. The Kamisa restaurant, very much a, a cool, um, you know, five-star restaurant. It's very popular with day visitors as well. I mean, it's got that old school, you know, it gives me like that cigar lounge, although I've never seen anyone smoke a cigar type of restaurant, but it's it's really just nice and very mature and also very five-star meals are being presented there. Also, I would suggest that you pre-book this as well, but if it's if but if you don't, it's not a train smash and you find your guests actually enjoy dinner here. Um it's 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 got that Cape Town VNA vibe inside already. Breakfast. So breakfast at Table Bay is definitely within the top three within our whole group. I mean, they definitely have amazing restaurant, uh, I mean, food options for all types of palates. And if you can imagine with the international guests, uh, with a lot of Asian markets also coming into our restaurant, it's very popular for, for the Europeans as well. So which makes it quite nice for the locals because we can also experience different types of breakfast other than just your English breakfast, which I mean, you're more than happy to have, but it's quite nice when you can have an oyster or sushi or those types of options for breakfast as well. Um, very scenic breakfast as well when you sit outside and you enjoy that mountain, table mountain, and I think lion head view. Um, also the harbor is right on the edge of Table Bay, which is quite nice. So you get to see all these big ships and, and yachts and all these beautiful harbor ships going past. So that's basically how it looks like. The Table Mountain Suites at the Table Bay is well very popular for your clients that want an opulent stay. Um, very, very spacious. Um, that's the Table Mountain bathroom. So unlike Mauritius, with us, the mountain views are more pricier than the sea view. So we have sea view facing rooms and we have mountain facing rooms. So um, if they do, if, if it doesn't matter, then I guess you'll just book, I mean, the cheapest. However, it is important for them to, if it is important for them to see the views of the mountain, then definitely go book that because it is absolutely stunning, especially in the morning. So that's the Lion's Head Suites at the Table Bay. And what Lion's Head Suite means, it means that's the view of the, of the room. Um, like, and then there's the Luxury King Room. So those are necessarily specified, whether it's because we have summer sea facing summer mountain view or summer just a bit of both. Um, however, you can just request um, but I mean, if they are quite specific in wanting a particular view, then just book the room at the view. So that's basically your entry level luxury king room at the table bay. That's how it looks like. And that's the junior suite. And that's the luxury twin room. And that's the luxury twin room as well. So that would be a mountain facing room. And that's it from me. Um, Thank you, Ms. Sefer. That was great. Very in depth. And um, well, there's lots of properties to get through. Um, can I just ask the cabanas, is it open midweek or is it open on the weekends as well now? It is open throughout and we, it, see what we did is just so I know there's a lot of confusion. They've just kept inventory open, right? So if you were booking maybe the cabanas midweek, um, 
it would allow you to. And then they would just upgrade them to Soho or sometimes even Palace upon arrival and you wouldn't even know. But it is definitely open because it's peak and it will continue to open um, throughout all days of the week. Okay, good. Okay, does anybody have any questions for Masecho at all? Must have something. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of fun stuff. <laughs> I'm waiting for them. <laughs> and yeah, no day visitors are allowed at, at the moment um, until further. Um, we'll let you know. So what we're planning to do, just so you guys know, I know you guys are booking other properties or whatever. Um, we They will be sold on Compu Ticket or whatever Ticket Pro that they decide to go with. Um, however, it will be a limited numbers and, you know, it's information that we'll be able to share only once it happens. But they're going to definitely avoid the festive, it looks like. The idea was to go within the festive, but now they're finding that guests are just finding it more pleasurable to enjoy the property without that influx of day visitors so we're just really trying to keep people happy at the moment however we are aware that there are guests who really want to come during the day so that could start in like january okay, great okay anybody got anything from a no okay good if there's anything you can always let me know then i can always pass it on Thank you everyone for joining. Have a lovely day. Thanks, Masejo. Thank you so much. Have a lovely day, everybody. Bye. Bye.